Good morning, everyone, and happy Monday. I, you, this sound literally just came like last night, early this morning. I was very, very, very fatigued yesterday, like when I got home. And like, granted, it was nighttime, but I feel like I hadn't done like very ext like strenuous work throughout the day that would, that would cause me to be very fatigued. But I honestly went to sleep and slept for hours. I slept, I set my alarm for a time to wake up. I kept pushing that back. I didn't wake up. I mean, I woke up later than my alarm, but I still woke up in time to do all of the things that I needed to do this, this morning. But y'all pray for me because I hope I am not coming down with anything. I hope and pray to God that I'm not as I sniffle, but it's still a happy Monday, regardless of how I am feeling. I still know that today is going to be a blessed and a wonderful day. Um, it's the start of a new week. So you know what that means, new blessings, new opportunities, new doors that God's opening up for us, new things that he's going to be showing us, um, new people that we're going to meet, new things that we're going to be able to experience. So I'm very excited. That is Monday that we're at the start of the new week. So let's go ahead and get right into today's goal. As always, God is blessing us. He's always going to be blessing us. The goal for today is to be a mediator. Okay. Be a mediator. And what does that mean? What does it mean to mediate? It means that you're settling disputes between two parties. It's pretty much what that means. Now, why is it important for us to be a mediator? Um, well, number one, you, you always have to know who you should be a mediator for and what situations you should interject yourself in in order to mediate. Because um, you don't want to jump into everyone's business because that's not your business. But I feel as though I situations that I know that I should mediate are when, it be, are when it's between, number one, people that I know and care about and they're arguing or um, I see that this situation could possibly lead to the destruction of possibly a friendship or a relationship and sometimes it's good for an outside party to step in and say hey you know what let me try to talk to each one of you and see what's going on and we want to make sure we're doing that because that's helping to build relationships as well we already know that as blessed people and just as people in general like i know i'm not the only one but there's some people out there that are watching this that people tend to gravitate towards you for advice, for counsel, for wisdom, or just for a second, um, just for a second set of eyes to look in on a situation or just to listen to their situation. So because they're coming to you, I feel that, or I'll speak for myself, because they're coming to me, sometimes I feel that it's my obligation to step in on some situations and try to help mend some things a lot of times this happens with my family members um and i think that because we're coming into the holiday season um a lot of times you know when you're getting around family members it's a joyous time sometimes but sometimes it's not so much a joyous time so when we're thinking about being a mediator in that aspect i think that for the and sometimes it's not even for your own personal gratification actually all of it all the time it shouldn't be for your own personal gratification but it should be in order to see a relationship flourish and succeed and be uh and grow in you know whatever relationship they're in so whether that's like you know your friends that are dating or something like that or marriage um or even just friendships or you know um family relationships in order to see that situation grow or heal or um be successful sometimes it takes an outside party and you honestly have to ask yourself and ask god you know continue to pray about it should i be the person to mediate in this situation okay and that's very important too because you don't want to go in there with a bias and you also don't want to go in there and make things worse because in that in that situation you know you might as well have not said anything at all they probably could have you know hurt themselves just as bad without you stepping into it so today when we're thinking about being a mediator we want to th focus on you know those those two things really but well three things so um know who you should be mediating for and who you should mediate to or what situation you should mediate to. And of course, you, I feel like you would know that. But also, if, you, if you're unsure, you can always pray. And then also, um, make sure that you are coming in and you don't, you're not causing up, or you're coming in unbiased. 
for either situation. And you're also coming in with the intention to help the situation and not to hurt the situation. So that's what that means. And honestly, I don't want to get too deep into this one because I think that, they're, well, this one could honestly, this video alone could be extremely long because there are a lot of situations that I could touch on that need a mediator's assistance for. Um, but I feel like we are in ourselves always have an inkling where we know like, hey, I should probably step in and help. But a lot of times we don't want to because we're like, oh, that's not my business or something like that. And while, and while it may or may not be your business, I think that sometimes God opens up opportunities for us to step in and help mend a situation before it gets worse because he knows, number one, it may be a situation that I or that you that we have gone through that we can kind of um, provide better counsel in that situation or it just may be because he's using you in that um, in that arena or in that facet to just help, you know, those people grow and develop and flourish. Um, so yeah, that is the goal for today is to be a mediator. And I hope everyone, um, honestly, just pray. I'm, that's the biggest, the biggest takeaway from today's goal is to make sure that you are continuously praying because honestly, that's going to help you determine all of the things that you need to do, like who you should be mediating or what you should be mediating um, for, and then what you should say in each situation. So that's the takeaway. The biggest takeaway today is pray about it. All right. So yes, that is the goal for today is to be a mediator. Hope everyone has a wonderful Monday and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.